This is Visual Browser 3. It's a Mac and Windows app that integrates with Ableton Live and it lets you organize your devices and plugins as an image-based library. Hey, I'm Nandi and I just released Visual Browser 3. And unlike the previous versions, this one isn't a Max for Light device. For the first time ever, I created an actual standalone application. I wanted to keep this video short, so in the next two minutes, I try to show you its main features as fast as I can. And if you like it and you want to know more about it, I've also made a full tutorial series you can watch next. When you first launch Visual Browser, it automatically scans your Ableton library and it collects all your devices and plugins and puts them into organized categories and shows them as cards. Each card can have its own thumbnail image, so everything is recognizable at a glance. And Visual Browser can create these images for you by a process called scraping. It works for both third-party plugins, live devices, instruments and Max for Live stuff. You can freely rearrange anything by just dragging and dropping things around, so you can replace the order of the cards, move cards between categories, replace the order of the categories, create new ones, rename them, and you can even add custom colors to any category. To load something into Live, just click on a card. Visual Browser can even load anything into all of the selected tracks at once. And you're not limited to the base devices. You can browse through the same device and instrument presets as in Live with the same tech system. And you can load them directly from the presets panel, or you can create new cards from them. If you want to experiment, Visual Browser can load random cards or presets for you. You can assign keyboard shortcuts to any card to load them that way into Live, or map MIDI CC or note messages to these cards. These shortcuts will work even if Visual Browser is minimized and the focused application is live. You can use Visual Browser with any MIDI controller by mapping navigation actions. And if you did, you can even use the app in a more minimal overlay mode. So it only covers a small portion of your screen, but you're still able to do everything as in normal mode. You can customize the application by changing card and category sizes or the scale of the whole application. And you can freely resize the main window. Visual Browser comes with different color themes you can choose from. And you can even use it on an external touchscreen monitor. When I released the first version of Visual Browser a few years ago, it was a very different experience. It took a lot more time to set up, and the workflow wasn't nearly as seamless as this. So when I started working on Visual Browser 3, I realized that if I wanted to do this properly, I had to start from scratch and it had to be a real standalone application. There was just no way to make this work inside Max for Life. So I spent the last 8 months working on this almost every day until it finally worked the way I imagined. It's easily the biggest project I ever worked on. Because of that, this time it's not a free update. But if you bought any previous version, you'll automatically see a custom upgrade price when you add Visual Browser 3 to your cart on my website. As I said, I also created a full tutorial series where I explain everything in detail, so if you like what you've seen so far, make sure to check those out as well. And please let me know what you think, I'm really excited about this release. Cheers!